Hey, Daz, can you see my screen? Yep, I can see it. All right, sweet man. Thank you for confirming. Let me go ahead and get started. All right, everyone, as promised, I'm going to show you guys how to automate the booking process for your Wix account slash photo booth rental business or party rental business or any type of business that consists of people booking on your website. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I'm just going to brush over this really, really quick because I want to dive into the automation process is one of the things that I was experiencing is when it got really busy, right? I was doing two, three, four events in one week. I was so grateful, but at the same time, I was doing a lot of work because of the amount of the administrative process was being, uh, you know, it's just the amount of weight, it was just too much, right? The constant emails back and forth, the downloading the contract, revising the contract for the specific client, copying and pasting, composing an email, attaching the contract, sending it to the client, waiting for the client to respond, waiting for the client to sign the contract and email it back and so on and so forth. And it got to a point where I said, I'm going to tackle this as soon as I can. Uh, but right now, I just want to focus on marketing and getting more uh, leads. And quite honestly, I should have done this earlier during my career as a photo booth rental business owner. So the first thing you guys want to do is when you guys are uh, here, let's go ahead and move this out of the way so you guys can get a really good visual. When you guys are on your Wix account on your dashboard, it's going to look very similar to mine. It's just pretty much the same type of dashboard. I have a couple of websites, but we're going to focus on the 360 photo booth website right here. All right. I want you guys to scroll down on the left side here where it says automations. And I'm going to try to keep this as simple as possible, although I will dive into some details just to make things really clear for you guys. So as you guys can see right here, I have several automations active. I have one for my 360 photo booth, two hours the four hours and the three hours. And you guys are probably wondering like, David, why do you have it for three hours, four hours and so on and so forth. And that's because each automation has a specific contract that's going to reflect the service that the client booked. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and dive into one of them so you guys can see. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to create a brand new automation so that later on, when you guys have time, you guys can dive into your laptops or computers and start the automation process, which is going to allow you guys to make more money because it's going to free up more of your time to do other things that are going to help you leverage your business and increase uh, awareness. That way you guys, guys get more leads. Okay. So I'm going to dive into the one of ones that's already been created. We're going to do the 360 booth uh, contract for the four hours. And then I'm going to go into more actions right over here. And then I'm going to go into edit. All right. I'm just going to show you this piece and then we're going to, uh, we're going to do one together. So I titled this right up here. You guys are going to be able to do the same exact thing. And then I chose a trigger. So that trigger is going to get triggered when a session is booked. All right. So I'm going to go to edit right over here. And when I get a Wix booking, as you guys can see, just right here, it says a session book. This is when it's going to get triggered. And what I love about Wix and this specific automation tool, it says, select which services get triggered for this automation, which is really great because it gives you a lot of power. So it could be for all services or it could be for a specific service. For me, I went with specific service, okay? And then right down here, it's gonna ask you, well, what service do you want it uh, activated on? So I want it activated on the 360 booth for hours. And you guys will understand why I did it uh, this way. You, it, It'll make a lot sense to you guys just in a few moments, all right? So cool. So four hours, and then what's the action? So after this gets triggered for this specific service, it's asking me, what action do you want to take after that, David? Well, here's what I want you to do. The action that I want you to take is I want you to send an email. Well, what are we going to put in that email? So then what I said here, this is a template. I want you to email when this person books. So we're going to take a look at the template here together. I'm going to go to edit the template. And so this is the template. So the template looks just like this. The subject line, I'm able to write whatever I want. And what I decided to write was urgent. 
360 photo booth agreement, please review and sign within 48 hours. So that's what the client's gonna see when a secondary email comes in. They're gonna see that it's urgent. They're gonna open it, right? And this is basically the 360 booth contract. This is a revised version that has been, uh, how can I say this? It's been revised where it's more concise, more compact and straight to the point. And, and this is the entire thing. So as you guys, a lot of you guys have downloaded the contract up on my online store. That's the basic contract, right? It includes a lot of good information. But I needed to find a way that I can include the contract still within the booking process. But like I said, really simplify things. Let me go ahead and uh, ignore this caller right now. By the way, if you guys are watching, um, remember, guys, please don't hit up my business line. All right, guys, that business line is just for bookings. Okay, guys, cool. We got that out of the way. So I highlighted the most important parts of the contract so that the client can see that, okay, uh, let me go ahead and review this and sign it within 48 hours. And also, important part, payment. The client pays a total of uh, $999 for a four-hour 360 booth rental, not including any promotional deals. Now, earlier, I told you guys the reason I have a contract for every service is because if they would have booked for the two-hour service, then, of course, this contract would have to reflect that it's a two-hour service. And that's why they went specifically, specifically for the two-hour three hour, the four hour, and the photo booth rental as well. Not just the 360 booth, but everything. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. It just takes, all you really have to do is just change a few numbers. Um, so that that's where I'm at right now. And, and I highlighted this part too, that's very important to me that really just, it, it just, it makes everything more painless, right? Less, uh, less pain. And so balance due, the remaining rental, Balance is due 10 days before the event date. So this is just another reminder and setting the expectation so the client knows that you, the business, are expecting that payment to be paid in full 10 days before the event date. Sweet. All right. And like I said, and the rest is, like I said, also important information, but I just highlight the most important parts that I think are going to be worth highlighting. And I'll just go over this one with you guys here really quick. The client provides 10 by 10 flat surface and space uh, for the 360 booth. We need that flat surface because we don't want our 360 booth to be wobbling all over the place. And we also want a power outlet within 50 feet of the 360 booth setup. Do I really need the uh, power outlet just for the cold sparks? But I've discontinued the cold sparks. And like I said, I'm the, the setup, everything, I'm, I'm trying to streamline everything so that I can duplicate everything much easier and everything can be way more optimized as far as this thing goes. But I will need power for the selfie booth because remember guys, that selfie booth, either you guys bought the selfie booth that has the, the ring and that glows, right? And that takes up a lot of power or you guys probably bought the selfie booth that has the bottom LCD screen that also takes up a lot of juice and your small portable battery won't be strong enough to last uh, over two hours. So that's why I require right here a power outlet within 50 feet. And I hope that makes sense to you guys. All right. So this is uh, what they're going to get from the very top. You guys are going to be able to put your logo right in here. All right. So it just it looks more official that way. And then where it says, please sign. When I click on this, on this, please sign, right? It's going to say, well, what, what do you want this button to do? And so what I did is on this button, I want to do a standalone form. Now, this button can either trigger a URL, a document, a standalone form, or a dynamic link. So pressing this button, I selected standalone form, and then I can open up the form right here and revise it, right? So let's go ahead and type and just, I'm just gonna go ahead and edit right here. And this is how the form is going to look on our end. And this is the prompts that we can, um, we can implement into the form. So what is the form gonna say? Form is gonna say, please sign below. So then the client will see, okay, Full name, they'll put their first name, last name. And then it'll say something like, uh, this, this is uh, the placeholder, enter your first name. So that's where they'll put it right here. And then the second column, it says your signature and the button will be clear. So it, it'll be, and you guys will see, it's like a button, like it's, it's like a, a blank space where they can just go on their phone and sign right on their phone. And then from there, they'll put, the, there's a question that says the date, a little calendar pops up and they're able to select a date. So the beautiful part about this is 
when we get that email with their signature in that email, we're going to see their first name, last name. We're going to see their signature and we're going to see the date they selected. So it's done. And then they'll hit submit. This is the last part right here. They'll hit submit. And the thank you message is thank you for submitting. The cool part is that Wix will send you a notification. You'll get an email and a notification on the website that basically says the client has a book and signed. And that's so cool because you're getting these, these notifications while you're eating, while you're out and about. And it's like, everything's kind of like running itself versus thinking like, man, when I get home, I'm going to have to go into my computer. I'm going to have to open up the contract. I'm going to uh, have to open up on Google Docs so that I can revise it and put in their information. Then I'm going to have to, and it's crazy because once you guys start doing this right here and implement this into your workflow, it's, it's just like I said, it frees up so much time. And, and I, this this video is really going to bring value to you guys. Okay, so that, that part is complete. It's done. Um, I don't have to save anything because I didn't really make any changes, but I'm going to go back here to where we were uh, earlier here. Let me go ahead and move this down to the bottom. Back to the automations. All right, so I'm going back to automations and I'm going to select the exact same one again. So I am running, here we are, uh, we did the four hour and then I'm going to go to more actions and then I'm going to go to edit right here. All right. So we went down to the trigger, we covered the action, and then now we're going to go to where it says here, let, let's go back into the action right here. I, I want to make sure I don't miss anything. So right here, the sender's name, of course, you're going to put your business email right in here. And I'm going to go back into the template. I'm going to go to edit. Okay, so we covered this button right here. And then these values, guys, you don't mess with these values. These values stay the same. These values are important because these values basically know uh, what service it was and when their booking time was. So this is already in there for you. You don't have to make any changes or revisions. Just leave this as is. Down here, this might be a little different for you guys. Uh, all I did was I, when you double click it, you guys can see that right here on the left, you can reword it, right? So I put support team, but you guys can just put support right? Uh, but I'm going to do support team and then the phone number. And then right here, I put my website. So this is a hyperlink. If they click on this, it takes them back to the website. Uh, and that is pretty much it. So I'm just going to hit save and continue now. And then I'm going to scroll down a little bit right here. And then the timing. So the, the basically it's asking me, when do you want us to trigger this? And as you guys can see right here, immediately. Um, so once they basically book, I want this to get sent to them immediately. And then once they sign, I want to get that email uh, immediately as well. So this really works out so well for both parties, the person who's booking, the client, and the photo booth business owner, you and I. So let's go ahead and, and work on one together. And this is what I'm going to do to make life easier for me, guys. Um, and for the, the Patreons watching, I'll send you guys the revised form. Just, just to send me, I'll, I'll post it actually on the Patreon page. So you guys can just download it. Um, and then you guys can make these small revisions. And this is what I mean. So if I go right back in here, I'm going to, I'm going to grab that form. Let me open up. Um, I'm going to open up my documents here so that I can send you guys the exact one. So let's do that. Let's see if I can grab it. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. Grab this whole thing. Grab every single thing. So here, I'm going to copy. I'm going to create a new Google Docs. Paste 
case without formatting. So now you guys, um, I'll share this with you. That way all you have to do is come right in here and change uh, the hour because you guys are gonna have bookings available for two, three, four hours. And then you guys can change the dollar amount to reflect what you guys are charging and to reflect the rate that you guys are doing right now. And then you guys can make any small changes right here that you guys feel you guys need to. All right, so let's go ahead and set one up together as if we were doing it for another service. So I'm gonna hit save and continue. And then we're gonna work on an automation together. That way you guys know uh, any changes to this discard. All right, new automation. Let's go ahead and get started. New automation. I'm going to click on this one right here, guys. So it says activate, right? And remember, you guys can title this whatever you guys want. I'm just going to call it photo booth uh, sample. And then I'm going to go to edit. And then I'm going to select Wix bookings. And I want this to get triggered when the session gets booked. All right. And then I'm going to scroll down and it's going to ask me for all the services or for a specific service. And it's going to be for a specific service. Now, if you guys only had a photo booth and it was just one flat rate, then you guys, all you guys would need is just one automation. Um, for this one, I'm just gonna do it for the operator assistant mentorship program. All right, I'm gonna hit apply. And this right here, guys, it's gonna populate whatever services you guys have available on your website, okay? All right. And then the action, as I mentioned earlier, it's gonna be an email that gets sent out. And then right here for the template, I don't want to skip the center details. Remember, guys, right here, your email is going to go right here, okay? And then we can go to switch to template. Now, let's go to switch to template so that I can show you guys how many different types of templates they have. So these are my existing templates, but as you guys can see, there's a ton of different templates right here that you guys can pick from. Um, we can go to like even the marketing ones if you wanted to. But we're going to go to the automated ones, and we are going to go with just, let's see, a new template. So I'm going to grab this one, okay? I'm going to select to edit this template. Right. So this is the subject line earlier that I was talking to you about, where you guys can come in here and put, uh, please review, and I don't want to type too much, please review, because I'm not the fastest type, but please review and then sign of 48 hours, right? This is exactly what you guys can do. You can come in here and make those changes and it'll reflect right up here. Right here in this section, what I did is I deleted the wording right here. And instead, uh, what I wanted to do is I went to, I went here and then when you double click it, you guys can come here right to the left side. I believe it's under design, it might not be under the design. Um, is it under, let's see, add image, there you go. So I went to image and then it allowed me to select an image. So for example, if I, do I have my logo in here? Do I have it somewhere in here? I'll just use this. Yeah, I'll use that for now. So this is, this, this would be my image and then I, I can actually shrink this if I want to, I believe. Let's see, change image design. You can move it around if you need to. Um, this should be, I think this should be a lot smaller. And then earlier when we were talking about uh, what you guys can write in here, this is where that would go. Okay. But here's where you would actually delete this, guys. You would delete this and then you would come into what I'm going to send you, that document with all this important uh, wording here. I'm just go just grab everything. I'm trying to grab everything, but I have boxes in the bottom because I'm doing this the live stream. But here we are. I'm gonna go ahead and copy. This is exactly what you guys would do, okay? Uh, well, not exactly, but because you guys are gonna change it up a little bit. I'm gonna hit paste. 
and now it's in here like it was earlier. Now, now that it's in here, what you guys can do is you can grab all this information right here. And then after that, you guys can go to the left right over here and you can align it. All right. You can do the spacing a little different to make it tighter. See, that's a little too tight. So we're going to hit eight. Or one. And then I can change the font to keep it more uh, compact. And then I would probably go in here and change the font to Arial like that. So this is going to be totally up to you guys. Uh, I just wanted to show you like the simple steps on how to plug things in. And then I want you guys to come in here and add your flair to it. Your style, your design, what format you want, how big do you want your font. And if, if you want to like change the colors, uh, but really quick, if you guys don't know how to do this, if you highlight this right here, and then you go over to the section where it says highlight, I can highlight it in yellow. And that way, this is how I was able to get it yellow. All right. So this is how, how you plug in the contract inside of this prompt. And then this right here, this big old space right here, I don't need it. I'm going to go ahead and hit delete right there like that. And then we're left with the button. Uh, this is the, the button that that took us to that template, right? So what I did is I did a standalone form. And you, you guys are going to create a new form. And so this is how it's going to look for me, for you guys. You guys can start from scratch if you want. I'm going to go ahead and start from scratch just so that you guys really get value out of this. And I'm literally taking you by the hand and showing you guys how to do this step by step. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this one. I want to start from scratch. I can't see the bottom page because I have like these boxes blocking me. Yo. Let's go ahead and get started on the start from scratch. So we, I think you guys are probably going to want to call it please sign or signature required. And this is the steps that we we're covering earlier. So we're gonna go with different types of questions. Right here on the right side, these are all fields we can attach to this form. And for me, I don't need their email again, so I'm gonna delete that, okay? Uh, what I do need from them is I would like to have their name. And instead of first name, I don't want to have too many tabs. So I'm just going to put full name so they can type in their full name. Okay. And then on top of that, what else do I want from them? I would like their signature, right? Which is one of the most important parts and the coolest features is right there. So your signature. So I'm going to leave that as is. So first name, last name, right over here, their signature. And then from there, I want them to select the date that they signed it on. So this is going to be the, the box of the calendar where they can select the date they signed. And then as they scroll to the bottom, it's going to be the submit button. And now it's completed. So it's please sign. And I'm just going to put right here a test so I don't confuse it with the existing one and hit save. Okay. So that's done. That's done. That's done. So there's my, there's my new form there. So I have a form. And go back here. So it's, it's right here now. This is my form. Now I'm coming back right over here because uh, this is what my button's going to do. Oh, by the way, if you guys double click here on the on this button, um, if you come over here to the left, you can change it to please sign. You can change it to whatever you want. You can even change the design. I know some of you guys are pretty familiar with the design change because you guys created your own Wix uh, website. But if you go to design, you can change the color. Uh, you can change the design. Uh, I'll give you a quick example here. I'll make it yellow. And then I go back right here. And then I'm just going to put please sign, right? Please. Just like that. And I'm going to go to standalone form. And then I can select my standalone form that I saved already. And that was a please sign test. So now when they click on here, when they get the, the email and they click on here, it's going to take them to that form where they're just going to sign off after reading 
the contract. And um, right here, guys, you can also get a little bit more creative and you can enter your social media handles. I should get a Twitter. I don't have a Twitter yet. I do have a Facebook, but it's more of a Facebook community. So there's no need for me to put it in here. Uh, and then, like I said, it's up to you guys if you guys want to put your website right in here or if you guys want to put your phone number, whatever you guys decide, there's just plenty of room for customization right in here. And after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit save and continue. And I can I have the option to activate it now. But before I do that, um, I just wanted to show you what we covered, guys. Remember, so the trigger, when does it get triggered? When we get a booking. What do we want for the action? We want an email sent when they book. Okay, what do you want your email to have? We want it to have the 360 booth agreement and we want it to have the little column where the button is located where the customer can click on that and then it takes them to the place where they can sign off. All right, and then right here where it says scheduled immediately after the trip. So now I'm just gonna go to activate. And I have it right here, photo booth sample. It's activated and good to go. Uh, now, earlier at the, in the beginning of the conversation, I was telling you guys that I have several ones that are activated because each one reflects the hours. So the contract right here reflects a two hour with the rate of two hours. And then the contract for four hours reflects the four hours within the contract and the rate for the four hours. And this is why I did it this way. If you guys, what you guys can also do and this, this, I learned this later on is you can actually come right in here and then you can duplicate it, right? You can duplicate it and then go and rename it and then just make those small revisions in the contract section. Uh, let me show you how to do that. I do want to save you guys time because I said like, I'm all about giving you guys value. So I appreciate everyone in the Patreon page that I made it in early because quite honestly, uh, the, the, the Patreon uh, membership will go up. So everyone that's in the Patreon page right now, I'm glad you guys made it in here early and you guys are getting value out of this. So for example, say I want to go to the photo booth sample right here and I want to duplicate it, right? If I duplicate it, now I can I can sample it and I can put, uh, okay, instead of two hours, this will be my three hours, three hours like that. And now, I, now I'm going to hit, um, I'm going to go to trigger and it's going to do everything for me. But now I'm going to go ahead and select the three hour one. Boom, three hours. See how I'm doing less. It's less work for me now because I'm just making some small changes here and there. Uh, but the one of the changes that we definitely want to not forget to do is going into the template form. Right. And we go to the template form and do the edit. We want to come in here really quick, guys, and change it from four hours. Right here. To three hours. I know it's super tiny to three hours like that, and then change the amount that you guys are charging. And then you guys will go to save and continue. Um, and once you go to save and continue, everything will be the same. It's gonna reflect the the rate and the hours, but everything is already kind of pre-filled in for you guys because you guys are already set up. Uh, I would want, it's kind of like a bot. It's really an automated system, but the bot, I guess, is a new way of calling these things. And then you would just go to activate like this right here. Yeah, uh, Denise, this video is going to be available to you guys, the Patreon page. I'll go ahead and upload it to the Patreon page so that you guys can uh, apply this immediately and make your lives much easier. And then for the folks over on the YouTube and across all other social media platforms, uh, sometime next month, I'll release this to you guys. I just want to focus on the Patreon page right now because I, I really value the Patreon. That, that's just uh, me being, I'm not sure coding anything this year. I'm just being very, very uh, blunt with you guys because I really want to focus on the people who are investing in themselves and also see the value in what I provide. Uh, guys, I made over 500 videos on YouTube and I, I've done a lot. I put in a massive amount of work and it just, you know, I it, it just doesn't seem like it's hitting the right people. So that's why I wanted to call out the people that are serious about the business and really focus on something greater. And so that there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, that's exactly how you do it. I know, I know it, it seemed a little complex, but I feel like the steps that I walked you through, if you guys, maybe I went too fast. I don't think I went too fast. Um, and so that that's how you would accomplish that. So let me go ahead and delete these here because 
I don't want these things to confuse me in the near future. I can delete them or deactivate them. But in this sense, I'm going to go ahead and delete them uh, just like this. And I am back to my two hour, four hour, three hour. And where's the other one? I'm missing one here. I am missing. Where is it at? All right here. This should be for my regular photo booth. Let's confirm. And how I'll be able to confirm is just by going to the template here to make sure it reflects that it's for the photo booth. Yeah, so it's for the photo booth agreement. And as you guys can see right here, it's highlighted. Right now, my rate is $444 and they can uh, have it anywhere from two to four hours. If they need a little longer, I'll work with them. But th the best part is the photo booth guys, just grab them, set them up, drop them off, circle back later. The 360 booth, of course, needs a, a technician and operator there the entire time. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and close it up. I have six participants. Six of the uh, patrons are on the call right now on, um, on Zoom. So let me just go ahead and save this really quick here. And then I'm going to open up. Let's see how much time we got. Yeah, we'll take about 15 minutes, guys, for the, the folks at the Patreon page. I want to talk to you guys. I want to get to know you guys a little bit better. Um, let me go ahead and open that up right now. I'm going to stop sharing my screen here.